Okay. Here we are in Saranac Lakes. Uh, just starting off. This is the uh, basically the last trip of the season. Um, I didn't take a look at the water temperature yet. Let's see what we got. Turn the other GoPro on. GoPro. And GoPro. So the water temperature is 47 degrees. Which really isn't a deal breaker. It's got to be close, but I think we could still pound out some fish here. Uh, okay, let's uh, put the boat up on plane and get to the fishing grounds. Okay, here we are at Saranac Lakes. Uh, this was the last trip of the year and I uh, gave a small tutorial uh, just a minute ago when I got there and uh, we ran down the lake all the way to the end of Lake Flower and uh, that's where the Saranac River from Lower Saranac dumps into Lake Flower and uh, this is a number 10 spot I figured I'd go to the end the conditions were uh, flat beautiful but um, the water temperature was very cool the fishing was very very tough you could see here I'm trying everything I'm trying uh, jigs I'm trying uh, crankbaits I'm slow rolling stuff on the bottom uh, the confluence uh, is feeding the fish and uh, I just fished around um, it was a brutal day it was about 35 to 37 degrees it was snowing it was raining and uh, my GoPro batteries ran low and ran out. Um, I fished hard, but the, the, uh, the fishing was very poor. And I did dredge up one northern at the end of the day, but um, I had a lot of fun out there. This was uh, approximately Halloween, October 30th, uh, up in the Adirondacks, my last open water trip. Just, uh, I didn't do as well as I thought I was going to do with the smallmouth and the northern and largemouth on Lake Flower. The following day was Champlain, which was also very slow. I did land uh, a nice northern, and I think what I needed was live bait. Okay, I just want to give you a little idea. Last trip of the season out on Champlain. This will save you guys a lot just watching the YouTube so you don't have to do it yourself. <laughs> Here's the truck. Back down. I can't even get the boat off. They pulled the ramps out. So, okay, I'm going to sign out for a second and uh, we'll get back with you when we're on the boat. It's October 29th on Lake Champlain. This is, this isn't like tactical bassing late season. This is real late season. <laughs> this is back late season, which is a whole different ball game. Uh, the water is 51.6. There's a little fish there. And we're going out to the fishing grounds. See if I can get out of the wind. It's a brutal east wind. So, uh, we're going to see if I can rustle up a couple last late season smallmouth, northern pike, and largemouth. The largemouth bite late sometimes too, but uh, we'll see. All right, signing out. Okay, here we are with our end of the season northern. Alright. So 
that's it. Had a load of these falling today, but I couldn't hook them up. Uh, all right. Well, he really took that. Take a look and see how he's hooked up. Some joints, right? Okay. Nice two foot pike to end the season. Let me wet my hand. Alright, alright. Take it easy. Take it easy. Okay guys, uh, this concludes the 2020 season that I started early um, in uh, March or April on my first trip. I opened that up with just uh, just a few clips, um, catching a few smallmouth, and, uh, and this is October uh, 27th and 28th. Um, I towed my boat back. Uh, we had a lot of fun this season in the Adirondacks. Uh, it's my life's calling. Um, I've just been up there uh, my whole adult life since I was 17 or 18 years old and um, it was a beautiful uh, season up there this year and uh, we're looking forward to uh, the winter season down in southwest Florida. We'll keep you posted on that and the upcoming 2021 season in the DAX. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I would really appreciate if you would like and subscribe to the channel. That way I can keep you abreast of what's going on in the woods in the Adirondacks. So thank you to all my subscribers and, and l likes and subscribers. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, it keeps me uh, in my good habits. Thank you, YouTubers.